process of designing aircraft depends on various factors such as customer and manufacturer demand, safety protocol, physical and economic constraints. The design of airplane involves knowledge of aerodynamics, which is the study of motion of air, particularly its interaction with a solid object such as an airplane wing, propulsion that means to generate thrust, structure that must be able to withstand the stresses caused by cabin pressurization, if fitted, turbulence and engine or rotor vibration, and manufacturing techniques to achieve a configuration of an airplane satisfying requirements. In the early years of airplane design, designers generally used analytical theory to do the various engineering calculations that go into the design process along with a lot of experimentations. These calculations were labor intensive and time consuming. With the invention of the computers, engineers realized that a majority of the calculations could be automated. But the lack of design visualization and the huge amount of experimentation involved kept the field of aircraft design stagnant. With the rise of programming languages, engineers could now write programs that were tailored to design an aircraft. The weight of the aircraft is the common factor that links all aspects of aircraft design, such as aerodynamics, structure and propulsion together. An aircraft's weight is derived from various factors such as empty weight, payload, useful load, etc. The various weights are used to then calculate the center of mass of the entire aircraft. The center of mass must fit within the established limit set by the manufacturer. Airworthiness is the measure of an aircraft's suitability for safe flight. It is the instruction for continued airworthiness that contains each mandatory replacement time, structural inspection interval and related structural inspection task. This section may also be used to define a threshold for the fatigue-related inspections and the need to control corrosion to level 1 or better. The application of an airworthiness defines the condition of an aircraft and supplies the basis for judgment of the suitability for flight of that aircraft. In that, it has been designed with engineering rigor, constructed, maintained and is expected to be operated to approved standards and limitations. Classification of Airplanes Firstly, Airplanes can be classified according to their functions as civil and military. Civil airplanes are categorized as passenger, cargo, agricultural, sports, and ambulance. Military airplanes such as fighter, bomber, interceptor, rescue airplanes. Secondly, on the basis of configuration, wings. Wings may be swept back or occasionally forward for a variety of reasons. A small degree of sweep is sometimes used to adjust the center of lift when the wing cannot be attached in the ideal position for some reason, such as pilot's visibility from the cockpit. Straight wing extends at right angles to the line of flight, the most structurally efficient wing. It is common for low speed designs such as the P-80 shooting star. Swept back, the wing sweeps rearward from the root to the tip. In early tailless examples such as Dunn aircraft, this allowed the outer wing section to act like a conventional empennage to provide aerodynamic stability. At transonic speeds, swept wings have lower drag but can handle badly in or near stall and require high stiffness to avoid air elasticity at high speeds. Common in high subsonic and early supersonic design. Example is Hawker Hunter. Forward swept. The wing angles forward from the root is the forward swept wing. The benefits of swept forward wings are similar to backward sweep. Also, it avoids the stall problems and have reduced tip losses, allowing a smaller wing, 
but require even greater stiffness to avoid aeroelastic flutter. As the Sukhoi 47 Hansa jet used forward sweep to prevent the swing spar passing through the cabin. Second one is fuselage. It can be single fuselage, pod and boom, horizontal tail placed between two booms coming out of wing. The third one is horizontal stabilizer. It is located behind the wing and another one is no horizontal stabilizer uh, known as tailless. It can be controlled by aileron. Thirdly, on the basis of number of engines and their locations, most commercial airlines have engines mounted near the tail. If the number of engine is odd, then the engine will be mounted along the center line of the fuselage, usually near or in the tail or near the nose. In small aircraft with one engine, the engine is mounted in the nose. With several engines, the engines are mounted in the wing or on the tail, much like those of airlines. Military fighter aircraft and some bombers often have engines well integrated into the airframe for performance. So, the engines may be placed in the wing, above the wing or suspended on pylons below the wings. They may be mounted on the aft fuselage, on the top of the fuselage or on the side of the fuselage. Cockpit layout. A cockpit or the flight deck is the area usually near the front of an aircraft from which a pilot controls the aircraft. Most modern cockpits are enclosed except on some small aircraft. The cockpit of an aircraft is the seat used by the co-pilot. The captain or pilot in command sits the left seat. In some early aircraft, left turns were easier than right turns due to the direction of the spin of the propeller. Hence, it was advantages for the pilot in command to sit on the left hand side. The tradition has been maintained to this day with the co-pilot on the right hand side. One of the most important development was the basic six pattern. Later, the basic T, developed from 1937 onwards by the Royal Air Force designed to optimize pilot instrument scanning. Passenger cabin layout The A330-300 provides a high level of passenger comfort with one of the quietest aircraft cabins flying today. This twin-engine jetliner has an overall length of 63.6 meters with the capacity to sit 300 passengers in a typical two-class cabin layout. This Airbus commitment to continuous further enhance the environment with the use of LED lightning technology for reading, passenger information signs and ambient lightning. An aircraft seat map or seating chart is a diagram of the seat layout inside a passenger aircraft. Seat maps usually indicate the basic seating layout, the numbering and lettering of the seats, the location of the emergency exits, lavatories, galleys, bulkhead and wings. Airlines which allow internet check-in frequently present a seat map indicating free and occupied seats to the passengers so that they can select their seat from it. Unmanned aerial vehicles and their features an unmanned aerial vehicle commonly known as drone or by several other names is an aircraft without a human pilot aboard. Compared to the manned aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles are often preferred for missions that are too dull, dirty or dangerous for human. They originated mostly in military applications through their use is expanding in commercial, scientific, recreational agricultural and other applications such as policing and surveillance, aerial photography, agriculture and drone. Layout of empennage. Structurally, the empennage consists of an entire tail assembly including the fin, the tailplane and the part of the fuselage to which these are attached. On an airliner, this would be all the flying and control surfaces behind the rear pressure bulkhead. The front usually fixed section of the tailplane is called the horizontal stabilizer is used to balance and share lifting loads of the main plane 
dependent on center of gravity consideration by limiting oscillations in pitch. The rear section is called the elevator and usually hinged to the horizontal stabilizer. The elevator is a movable airfoil that controls changes in pitch, the up and down motion of the aircraft nose. Some aircraft employ an all-moving stabilizer and elevators in one unit known as stabilator. The vertical tail structure has a fixed front section called the vertical stabilizer used to restrict side-to-side -side motion of the aircraft. The rear section of the vertical fin is the rudder, a movable airfoil that is used to turn the aircraft in combination with the aileron. The aircraft's cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder are often located in the empennage because the aft of the aircraft provides better protection for these in most aircraft crashes. Use of composite material Common composite materials used in aviation are fiberglass, carbon fiber and fiber reinforced matrix system or a combination of any of these. The use of composite materials on an aircraft structure reduces weight. Fiber reinforced matrix system are stronger than traditional aluminium found in most aircraft and they provide a smooth surface and increase fuel efficiency. Second one is composite materials do not corrode as easily as other type of structure. They don't crack from metal fatigue and they hold up well in structural flexing environment. Composite materials also last longer than aluminium which means fewer maintenance and repair cost. Center of gravity the longitudinal static stability of an aircraft is the significantly influenced by the distance between the center of gravity and the center of the airplane. The center of gravity is the established by the design of the airplane and influenced by its loading as by payload, passenger, etc. The aerodynamic center of the airplane can be located approximately by taking the algebraic sum of the plane view areas fore and aft of the center of gravity multiplied by their blended movement arms and divided by their area in a manner analogous to the method of locating the center of gravity itself. 